Ladies and gents, thanks for tuning into this video. We've got some C-band. I'm here in Hinkley, Ohio. This is a suburban, ruralish area that's, I don't know, a couple dozen miles outside of the city of Cleveland. And Verizon, unbelievable. They're putting C-band, the N77, out here. Um, <laughs> I can't believe it. It's absolutely crazy. Anyways, I'm going to test a couple of things for you guys here today. We're going to test the LT. I got the Pixel. 6 Pro, and we're going to test C-Band here, the N77 for Verizon. You will see the 5G Ultra Wideband icon. For those of you that are unaware, I know a lot of people continue to ask in the comments of the videos, how do you know it's N77? We're in rural America. Where else are you going to get an Ultra Wideband icon? You know, And it's definitely not millimeter wave. Anyways, we'll test Verizon N77, 5G, all right, they're ultra wideband, and then we'll test their LTE. I'll do the LTE on the iPhone too. This is a 13 Pro, and then we'll test T-Mobile too. I'm gonna do that. So uh, the only reason why I'm not really testing AT&T right now is because I want to give them a chance to do some upgrades. You know, for that N77 as well. They haven't done much yet here. I haven't seen too many sites, but uh, let's go ahead and get to the testing here. All right, so this iPhone 13 Pro, we are seeing the. Uh, 5G ultra wideband icon, so N77 C band Verizon. And this this particular site is a little bit shaky. Uh, it's not the fastest site that I've tested, but it does hold up pretty nicely. All right, so 422 on the down. We got 41 millisecond ping. We got a 4.3 millisecond jitter. All right, and the uplink at 58. I did test it a couple of times, I just did a shorts and the speeds were a little faster. In fact, one of the tests I was able to get like 500 plus on the downlink and 100 plus on the uplink. So they're still optimizing, they're still tuning, and that's what we're getting for results for now. All right, let's go ahead and test the Pixel for the LTE side of things. I'm gonna go ahead and test the iPhone for LTE and we'll see how that's holding up. I think it's good to test both, you know, for, uh, for just for the sake of seeing like, you know, how much is this helping those on the LTE side by getting people off the LTE and getting them onto the, the 5G dedicated channels. All right, but the LTE is pretty good, 67 down. And the uplink is this pretty much the same as the iPhone. It's like 59, 58, 60 megabits per second. Ping time lower on the LTE on this device, 29 milliseconds, and then jitter at six milliseconds. Okay, and now I've already moved over the LTE side here on the iPhone. We can compare that to the previous test. And then we can compare the pixels too. And I think my next test, I'm gonna go ahead and test the iPhone 13 Pro Max for T-Mobile. So we'll do both. Wow, really nice LTE speeds actually. That's, I'm telling you guys, we're out here in real America. You know, I'm, I'm out here in this parking lot. A little wooded area here, you know, anyways. LT looks good. It looks like the uplink pretty much identical across the board. 107 down, 53 up, 39 millisecond ping, 8.3 millisecond jitter. No loss on any of the tests. Let's go ahead and let's test T-Mobile and see how they're holding up. They don't have ultra capacity out here. We're barely hanging on a thread getting 5G. So safe to say that is the N71 variation. 28 millisecond ping, 4.5 millisecond jitter but the speeds look good. All right, now I did test it earlier before I started recording and it was slow. So maybe signal, now it's kind of latching onto the signal, maybe a little bit better. And that's making a difference there in the downlink speeds at least. But the uplink is very bad. I just think it's because we don't have a great signal. You guys could see that's the first thing that goes when your signal is weak is the uplink. All right, 96 down and 1.2 on the up. Impressive stuff here from this testing. I actually, you know what I want to do? I want to do a little bit more testing. I want to see if I can reconnect here. All right, just turn 5G on. Defaulted to DSS. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so we got 5G there. And we tested the LTE side. Let's go ahead and see if this will turn back on. We're looking for the ultra wideband N77 Verizon. Yeah, they, they definitely have some optimizing to do. It is not a finished product, not by a long shot. But uh, I'll continue to test and look for the sites. Actually, I'm going to be driving home. And on my way here, I was handing off sites on the freeway on Interstate I-71. 
Oh, there we go. Just kicked in. So watch the surge. <laughs> there it is. So I was in like the 50s and 60s and 70s. Now, <laughs> gotta love it, man. Brand new 5G channel. It's like a new car. You know, it's like a new toy. Love it. 479 down. Three, what is it? 34 millisecond ping, 6.8 millisecond jitter. And the uplink. Yeah, it, it, I'm telling you guys, it's a work in progress. They're going to need time to optimize it. But they're building fast and they're turning stuff on. And I mean, it's just, this has been excellent. So far, so good for the, uh, the N77 from Verizon. What do you guys think of the testing LTE 5G, um, the N77, T-Mobile? You know, we got, we got it all tested here tonight. And we're out here in rural America doing some testing for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the testing. Sound off in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like and share. Subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Also, check out some of the links in the description box, my Twitter handle, as well as my email address. And you can support us on Patreon and get early access and exclusive content not found anywhere else. And you can even get promos and discounts on Los Mobile just for supporting us. Thanks for watching. Gotta love that N77. Brand new, incredible capacity. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Wow, 105. No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there's that uplink. 105. Go, go, go. 100 plus megabits. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.